In the 1951 film The Day, the Earth Stopped, an alien named Clatchera and his robot companion, Gort, used their advanced alien technology to stop almost every electronic device on Earth at the same time. Everything stops working cars, factories, televisions, and the Earth settles into eerie pauses. But what if the movie means the title more literally? Imagine a more powerful alien tools. It, it's a tool that can stop the Earth and stop the rotation of the Earth. The day the Earth stopped spinning will be a much more destructive film than the Hollywood original. We may not realize it, but the rotation of our planet underlies the most basic processes on Earth. In fact, if Earth were a stationary planet, we probably wouldn't be here. Work to pluck the Earth. If the Earth stops spinning at once, it will be a catastrophic disaster for much of the Earth's surface. Even if we don't feel it, we're all moving together is Shebnida planet. It rotates. At the equator operates at about 1,000 miles per hour. Suddenly, the planet will stop and everything that sits on it will fly east. People, houses, trees, rocks, seterate fire sideways at hundreds of miles per hour. After that, a high-speed wind, still spinning as fast as the planet, wipes the surface clean. If it slows down, the effect is still dramatic, but it will unfold over a longer period of time. The first thing we notice is that the sun no longer travels across the sky during the day. The apparent movement of the sun comes from the rotation of the Earth, so if the planet is stationary, it will last only one day for half a year, but we can expect a very long-lasting sunset. Without the 24-hour day we are accustomed to, the biological circadian rhythm will be completely thrown from the beat. The rhythmic cellular process that tells our body when to sleep and when to wake up depends, in part, on regular changes in sunlight. From bees to trees, many creatures on Earth rely on circadian rhythms to carry out their lives. Changing these cycles allows you to reverse normal patterns of behavior. Atmospheric patterns on Earth are also linked to the rotation of planets. When the planet stops spinning, the airflow changes dramatically. The wind patterns we see today play an important role in increasing precipitation and temperatures around the world. Changes in airflow. When the wind sinks to 1,000 miles per hour can now make forest desert flowers or frozen tundra a great place to live. We're already seeing something similar. Although much smaller, climate change is changing global climate patterns. The consequences can be fatal for organisms that depend on a particular environment. A rotation-free Earth also means the end of hurricanes. Huge rotating storms are created by Coriolis forces caused by the rotation of the planet. The winds attracted by the low-pressure area of the growing storm rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere, creating a spiral line and a central eye that defines the hurricane. This process is one of the reasons why storms can grow so powerful, so stopping them may be one of the rare benefits of stopping the rotation of the planet. But an immobile planet will also mean the end of our magnetic field. Scientists are not yet clear about the exact mechanism, but it is thought that the magnetic field is created by the movement of the liquid metal nucleus of the Earth. Scientists call this a dynamo, and the end result is a cobweb of invisible magnetic field lines circling the Earth. The impact of losing that field will be much more severe than being able to navigate with a compass any longer. Earth's magnetic field, above all, protects us from cosmic rays and electromagnetic storms from the Sun. I think we definitely want to catch him. Planet of Eternal Day As far as we know, there is no planet there that does not rotate at all. The process of naturally forming planets and other celestial bodies rotation, it, it means that every world rotates from scratch. However, some planets do not appear to rotate and astronomers call them tidal locks. These worlds always show star-like faces, creating permanent faces of night and day. Gravitational interactions between planets and stars can gradually slow the planet's rotation until exactly coincides with the orbital cycle. The moon is a good example of a new lock. We can only see one side moon. No, it doesn't matter where the sky is or at what stage, because the moon is fixed to the Earth by birds. The same situation is likely to occur near many exoplanets, especially stars with strong gravity. While this planet may seem like an extreme place, frozen on one side and baked on the other, some scientists have suggested that life can still find its way. 
Some astronomers believe that extraterrestrial life can find a happy medium in the twilight zone of the bird-locked world near where day turns into night. Others theorize that atmospheric circulation could anchor some worlds with mild algae. If enough heat can spread efficiently throughout the Earth, the Earth is not as fixed to the sun as the tide. We are too far away. And although the rotation of our planet is slowing to slightly every century is about 1.7 milliseconds a day or more our planet should not stop spinning completely. That's something to be thankful for. Next up. Astronomy Newsletter. Get newsletters updates and special offers via email from astronomy.com. Enter your email address asterisk. Astronomy Magazine. 50 years and counting. Astronomy is the world's most popular magazine leading astronomy hobby. You can get information about subscriptions, digital editions, renewals ads, etc. Count me. Free download. All about the Apollo mission.